Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the Project Cheetah status. Why we are discussing about Project Cheetah and further details regarding the this video, we will see. Before that, first we will check the syllabus mapping. So, in syllabus mapping, this is related to Gender Studies Paper 3. In GS Paper 3, we have Environment and Conservation in syllabus copy. So while you are listening the video, please try to relate the particular topic with the syllabus copy and try to read that particular line in syllabus copy so that over the period of time you will get a chance to buy her the entire syllabus copy. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the status of the project Cheetah. These are the components of the video, why it is in news and the reintroduction, how the reintroduction plan has been planned, then the coloring of animal. What is the meaning of coloring of animal and how it is leading to the death of the cheetah due to neck injuries? We will discuss. And the project cheetah success so far. And the facts regarding the cheetah. IUCN status regarding the cheetah. Historically, where cheetahs used to be there in India, that is the redistribution of cheetahs in India, we discuss. And how the cheetahs got extinct. Last time where cheetahs were spotted, we will see. And finally, we will discuss something regarding the Kuno National Park and some of the authorities involved in the project Cheetah, such as National Tiger Conservation Authority and Wild Life Institute of India. In the ending, we will see why we given more preference to South Africa and were earlier, so at any point of time, in the, during the earlier time, did we attempt for the introduction of the cheetahs or not. That means earlier attempts regarding the cheetah introduction, especially in 1970s, at that time also we tried, we will discuss about that. So these are the components we are going to discuss in this video. Mainly, we are focusing to introduce cheetahs from Africa. In the first phase, we introduced cheetahs from Namibia and in the second phase, we introduced cheetahs from South Africa. Before we discuss further, first let me explain the concepts regarding this video. We are discussing here the project Cheetah. Project Cheetah. If you remember students, in which year we started the project Tiger? Tell me. Project Tiger. Okay. Actually, in 1971, I, here I will write some important years relevant to your UPSC. 1971, 42nd Constitution Amendment Act. 1972, Wildlife Protection Act and 1973 just now I asked the question that is project tiger project tiger okay these are all the important years it's before the project tiger project before project tiger wildlife protection act and in the same year stockholm convention also stockholm convention the first global convention on the environment was also organized in that year so now we'll come back to this topic project cheetah we are discussing project cheetah because death Okay, cheetah deaths. Cheetah deaths are happening a lot. Okay, why these deaths are happening? Because of the neck injuries. Neck injuries. Because of this, we are discussing this topic. Why the cheetahs are subjecting to neck injuries? Why they are prone to neck injuries? Because normally, any wild animal, or if you want to do surveillance on any wild animal, they will be equipped with the neck collars okay neck collars neck collars were were fitted to the cheetah necks generally the thumb rule is the weight of the neck collar should not be more than the three percentage of the body weight based on this principle the weight of the neck collars normally around 400 grams weight of the neck collar around 400 grams now what is the issue with this neck collar you know the African cheetahs, especially cheetahs, okay, why they are getting these neck injuries? Cheetahs, compared to the tiger and leopard, their fur, they'll have high amount of the fur, okay? Because of the high amount of the fur in the monsoon season, in the monsoon season, in the monsoon season, this fur is getting wet a lot, okay? And it is taking lot of time, lot of time, to get dry lot of time to get dry this is not an issue in africa because in africa the 
temperatures also very high ju- even during the monsoon time also so they, they they get adequate time during that time gap so their the fur get wet i mean the wet fur it can dry very fast so that they won't develop any infection but in indian case what is happening because the fur is getting wet and they are not getting enough time enough time so because of this because of this they are developing the bacterial infection bacterial infection bacterial infection as soon as they are developing the bacterial infection that means they are exposing the uh, exposing to the pathogens these are african cheetahs very new to the indian pathogens are pathogens in in the indian subcontinent because of that they are catching the infection very fast and they are subjecting to death even this neck collars even though they seem to be very light 400 grams but when cheetah is running you know the students if someone hit you with this very small stone normal condition you won't get hurt but if the same stone comes with a great velocity it will give a lot of pain to you because of the impact kinetic energy in the same way when cheetah is running this 400 grams this neck collar eventually it is giving the equivalent of around equivalent of around 7 kg weight it equal to because cheetah athleticism is very high compared to lion and tiger so these are the issues mainly the neck collar issue around this neck collar bacterial infection is becoming spreading because of this the cheetahs are getting this uh, bacterial infection very high and they are subjected to death now we are discussing this particular issue the only solution then about this cheetah sir first we have to medically examine and we have to confirm what is the main cause of this and how we can overcome we have to think about this particular problem so why it is in news as i mentioned earlier the kuno national park cheetahs they were reported okay deaths were reported in kuno national park kuno national park present in madhya pradesh and the committee expert committee which appointed on this particular issue they recommended the thorough medical review of the this you know like cheetah's death and they died due to the suspected septicemia septicemia means obviously sepsis okay you might have know that generally we use the word septic a lot okay they died due to septicemia which is caused by the radio collars generally the radio collars are fitted around the neck of course fitting radio collars for cheetahs is also very challenging because cheetahs head size is comparably less comparatively less when you compare with the lion tiger and all these things A reintroduction plan the reintroduction of the cheetahs okay originally it was planned to introduce okay it was planned to introduce this cheetahs in indian subcontinent initially 1970s which was in iran but in iran also the number of cheetahs are very less that is the reason we changed our plan and we started introducing the cheetahs from africa this entire program is coordinated by the wildlife institute of india which is based in dehradun and they prepared around 262 crore reintroduction cheetah reintroduction plan around 7 7 years ago under this plan 50 cheetahs will be introduced over the years and all these cheetahs will not be will not be brought from same country it will be recruited from different countries in africa like the first batch of cheetahs recruited from namibia and the second batch was from south africa okay over the five years this project duration is over the five years we we are planning to introduce around 50 cheetahs out of this around 8 to 12 cheetahs recruited from the south africa namibia and botswana in a different phases the first batch came from the namibia and this is the first this trans intercontinental this is the first intercontinental project with respect to carnivores before this project such kind of projects were never happened and which, which ministry is supervising this entire project obviously the ministry of ministry of environment with under the ministry of environment national tiger conservation authority along with the wildlife institute of india which is based in dehradun they are supervising this project you know the students ntca it is a statutory body it is a statutory body established in 2005 tell me students ntca is regulated by which statute okay 
which act is regulating the ntca this is the chita here you will find the neck collar around this chita okay actually we have two types of cheetahs african cheetah and asian cheetah asian cheetah is critically endangered then tell me what is the protection status of the what is the protection status of the african cheetah okay collaring of animal this collaring of animal it was started in late 1970s by using the technology of satellite telemetry like i said earlier the weight of the radio collar generally it should be less than 3 percentage of the animal body weight in this neck collar majority of the weight is attributed due to the battery if we use the lightweight battery obviously then we have to repetitively change that radio collar so that require lot, lot of we have to seduce the animal very repetitively the modern collars as technology is developing the radio collar weight is getting lighter the modern ones they are weighing around 400 grams cheetahs the fitting of collars also very difficult like i said because of the the head head size ratio head size is very less compared to neck why this why this why they are developing this injuries around this neck collar because they are developing the bacterial infection and they are get, getting very less time to get their fur to dry which is not in the case of africa where they are getting lot of time that is the main issue that is a wet mat effect like i said earlier and in the same way this cheetah this weight of this neck collar is in, when cheetah is performing like athletic activities when cheetah is hunting that weight seems to be very high this 400 gram collar weight it seems to be around 7 kg weight and the african cheetahs they are less immune to pathogens which is present in indian subcontinent these are some of the reasons and because of these reasons cheetahs are becoming more, more vulnerable to death next project cheetah success so far this project cheetah so far in this project cheetah cheetahs implemented cheetahs introduced twice once first one september 2023 and second one february 2023 september 2022 sorry and february 2023 these two times cheetahs introduced so far out of all the 20 cheetahs okay out of all the 20 cheetahs and some of their cubs out of all this population eight cheetahs subjected to death many reasons are there the first reason all the cheetahs we introduced in only one national park so they may are getting less prey so obviously they are traveling for very they have to travel very large distance second these cheetahs from africa before they are introducing into the wild they are in quarantine periods from for very long time that is also affecting psychologically on cheetahs and third one cheetahs are very delicate animal compared to the other carnivores so this bacterial infection which they are developing they are getting more susceptible and the fourth one so far cheetahs are not getting competition from the predators such as leopard and lions once the cheetahs are introduced in the into the other national parks also then we will see the success of the project cheetah obviously the government of india they are exp exploring gandhi sagar gandhi sagar national park as the second spot for the cheetahs reintroduction let's see how that fares well so far this is the status regarding the project cheetah success now we will see the facts about cheetah cheetah scientific name asinorix asinonix jubatus and the iucn african cheetah status is vulnerable sites appendix 1 and wildlife protection act 1972 schedule 2 category officially cheetah extinct in india the declared was in 1952 last time it was hunted down in 1947 in the present day chhattisgarh asiatic cheetah they are critically endangered the only asian country which is having cheetah is iran okay namibia is considered as cheetah capital of the world main habitats okay mainly what are the factors leading to the extent of cheetahs in india habitat loss conflict with humans human animal conflict and poaching and high susceptible to disease because they are very delicate compared to other predated species cheetahs before they became extinct they distributed across india from north so punjab to south tamil nadu and west Raj gujarat to east west bengal they majorly 
live in the area of scrub forest dry grassland savanna and other arid and semi arid open forest and open grasslands there you will you can see cheetahs next how cheetahs got extinct like i said earlier in 1947 three last cheetahs were hunted down by the maharaja ramanuj pratap singh jio of korea okay korea was the kingdom in chatisgarh 1952 officially extinct this is the difference between the asian cheetah and african cheetah conservation status regarding the african cheetah vulnerable whereas asian cheetah critically endangered asian cheetah present naturally only in iran now we introduced in india in which national park we introduced kuno national park initially kuno was wildlife sanctuary in 2018 declared as a national park through this national park kuno river passes through it is a part of kathiar gir dry deciduous forest ecoregion this national park in this national park as i mentioned earlier kuno river passes through it is one of the tributary of chambal river recently chambal river in news because of the illegal sand mining we have seen flora it is a dry savanna forest and you can see here grassland as well as a tropical riverine forest fauna animals such as indian leopard jungle cats sloth bear dole indian wolf golden jackal these are the ones you can find here animals this is the madhya pradesh state and it is sharing borders with up chatisgarh maharashtra gujarat and rajasthan national tiger conservation authority already explained it is a statutory body it came into existence it established in 2005 and came into existence in 2006 next wildlife institute of india established in 1982 in dehradun it is autonomous institution it provides training program and academic courses and advice with respect to wildlife research and management earlier attempts in 1970s we tried from iran but iran is having less in number and it was a emergency time and at that time even we we struggled to identify the national park where we have to introduce because of these reasons we postponed and finally it was materialized in 2022 why from africa as i mentioned earlier african cheetahs they are having lot of genetic diversity and all the cheetahs all the cheetahs ancestors are the african cheetahs because of these reasons and african in africa number of cheetahs also very high so because of these reasons we prefer cheetahs recruitment mainly from africa the significance of cheetah reintroduction cheetah is historical so it improves the national pride and the prey base is also very high and it is also the flagship species if you know what is the meaning of flagship species comment comment okay put your comment flagship species these are the seven big cats we can find across the globe tiger lion jaguar leopard snow leopard puma and cheetah okay and last video question consider the following statement regarding the political parties out of these three statements so all these three pairs are right political parties they serve as a vehicle for advan advance the interest of the various groups political parties they play a very crucial role in democratic system of course political parties they have the organization structure and the leadership this is also right these are the three pairs as we reach to the end of this video we will try to revise what we learn in this video we discussed about project cheetah and the why the de death of cheetahs the reason for death of cheetahs is neck collar and bacterial infection we discussed about the success of project cheetah so far some details regarding the cheetah and how the project cheetah have been developed who are implementing the project cheetah national tiger conservation authority and wildlife institute of india and how the cheetah got extinct the some of the differences between the asian cheetah and african cheetah these are the things we discussed this is the detailed review regarding the project cheetah status in india